because I took the motorcycle into work today and it's a little bit chilly. Not too bad, I wasn't too cold, I dressed for it, but whew, that brisk air will wake you up fast. I'll log into my account here and let them know I'm here and then we'll get to work. We've got to go and grab our roll tight trailer, number 009 I believe, and pull it on up to Toulon. It's about an hour north of here. It's just a half hour north of Winnipeg. I'm just on the south side of Winnipeg right now. Construction. That's how you know you're still alive. You know, there's one thing you can count on in life. There's actually two, I'm pretty sure. You can count on having to pay taxes and you can count on having to deal with construction. When you no longer see construction, you know you're dead and gone. Because I think only heaven will have no construction. Can you imagine a place like that? How glorious that would be? And if there was construction, you know, they'd be done in like a day what a great place that will be. Highways of gold. Wouldn't that be nice? Why did I signal for that? I signaled to go into them. Whatever. Better safe than sorry. At least I use my signals. <laughs> Why not? Let's just keep up the... So we're on our way up to Toulon, we're north of the city now. This is Highway 7 headed north. It's still a four lane divide in here because of uh, the Stony Mountain or the Stonewall, what do they call it, the quarries? Tons of gravel trucks, tons of gravel trucks coming down here, huh? Speak of the devil, here comes two right now. You gotta catch me first, bud. You gotta catch me first. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm governed at 100 kilometers an hour, that's all I can do. So when you're behind me and you're complaining about how slow I'm going, it's not my fault, it's not my choice. This guy can go a little faster than me. And these guys are the reason there's a four lane divided here. Four lane divided goes all the way up to the where they turn off to go into Stonewall, the quarries there. And there's always just tons and tons of dump trucks going down here. And then it goes to a two lane right after that and traffic gets cut in like a quarter. He's got those fancy lift axles, on two of his axles on that trailer. Fancy. But yeah, today's gonna be a good day. I took the motorcycle to work today. It was a little bit of a chilly ride. But I can't complain. It'll be a nice ride this afternoon. It's not supposed to get too hot today. Only like 17 Celsius, so it's... It's really weird. It's like July and August switched weather for this year. Usually we have, you know, cooler weather, cooler hot weather, a lot more rain in July, and then August is our dry month. But since we're in a drought this year, all of July there was barely one drop of rain, and now August is here, and suddenly now the weather's like, okay, now I want to rain. Now that all the farmers are already harvesting, now it's time to rain. So the stuff I am picking up here... Uh, is going to Norristown, Pennsylvania. Any of you from Norristown, Pennsylvania? Man, I miss going to see all those places. How are you guys doing out there? Pennsylvania was always fun to go trucking through. Such a beautiful state. You just have to be very careful. Don't get lost. And don't end up on one of those windy, twisty, two-lane roads in Pennsylvania. Chances are you're not getting out. <laughs> Once you're in there, you're gone. There's no place to turn around. There's probably a low bridge. And there's tons of traffic, so you can't back up. So, find yourself on one of those roads. Just throw in the towel. It was good. And start walking home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, you don't want to get lost in Pennsylvania. Make sure you know your route. If, if you have to deliver down these little two-lane roads and stuff... Go over your route on Google Maps. I'm sure all of you do this already, right? Sometimes I run into these truckers that they, they ask me these questions about, like, you know, finding an address. Questions that can easily be answered on their own if they just take their smartphone and type in the address into Google Maps. So I guess there's still people out there that don't realize how handy that tool can be. So go on Google Maps, go on Bing Maps, whatever maps 
you want to use your GPS and double check the route like pull over stop and take a close look at the route where you're going you don't want to end up on a dead-end road or on a two-lane road where you can't turn around and then when you do go down these narrow roads to get to your customer your shipper or your receiver you definitely don't want to miss your turn because if you miss your turn it might be an hour before you can find somewhere to turn around if at all you might have to, who knows i remember that clearly so go and make sure you know where your turn is look at it on google maps go on google street view take a look around uh, zoom in so you can see what the buildings look like around where your turn is and then look at the driveway where you're going to turn into so that when you go and see it actually in real life and you actually get there you already recognize it and you don't miss your turn Pennsylvania always makes me think of these narrow tiny little windy roads and uh, always make sure you know where you're going <laughs> but Pennsylvania you're a great beautiful state one of these days I'm gonna ask them if I can pull one of these loads out myself you know, so I'm going to Norristown, Pennsylvania. If I could just do one trip every now and then, you know, just to get that that highway bug satisfied, I have the itch to hit the highway all the time. And uh, I, just, I can't do it full time. And, you know, I can't constantly be gone. We're trying to start a family. And I really like this position where I'm in right now. It's working out really well for me. I'm very happy. But every once in a while, you know, I just want to hit the road. there. I'd love to go to Norristown, Pennsylvania, but... It won't be me this time coming out there, but you can keep an eye out for our roll tight. It'll be coming there. It's a green roll tight. It's actually a rental, but uh, we're picking it up today. It delivers uh, sometime next week. Who knows when? The highway you driver have 11 won't. hours and 43 minutes of remaining drive time. Well, thank you. I didn't ask, but thank you for the information I didn't ask for. Bossy. Let's get this roll tight open so that they can load it. Here we are. Down right there. Oh no, I did that last time too. It's kind of picky and finicky. Push that back. There you go. It's not going anywhere. All right, we're all loaded up here. Just these three pieces. So I'm gonna grab these and uh, or pull these back to the yard. It'll probably uh, have other freight added to it, or they'll add this to another load going to Pennsylvania or the same area and uh, build a load out of it. Let's do our little walk around, make sure that these are all closed up, make sure the tires are all still good to go. You know, I want them filled with premium air. All right, so the faster we get this freight back to the yard, the faster we can combine it with whatever else it's going with. Because it's going to Pennsylvania and it needs to go now. Well, I don't know if it needs to go now. I don't really know when it's due there. It's, but I need to get it back as fast as possible, obviously. You have 11 hours and 43 minutes of remaining drive time. Good to know. Thank you very much. I didn't ask. See, it's kicked me into driving now. It knows. It knows when you're sleeping. It knows when you're awake. It knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. I'm talking about the electronic e-logs. It knows everything. 
The government is very nosy. He waved, I didn't wave. Probably thinks I'm a jerk. I'm not a jerk, sorry. I'm waving. What do you guys think? to give you guys more of a better or a better view while I'm on the bike but I don't want the camera to go flying off what do you think all right we're gonna give it a shot
Who's in here? Who's in here? Hey guys. Hi. Hi, Wayner. Shelby, did you miss me? How about you, Frank? You feeling better? Is he his, feeling better? His head is tender, but he's he ate his lunch. Okay. He's got a bit of a, a wart on his head and I bumped it this morning. I think it hurt a little bit. Yeah, he doesn't even like being touched around that area right now. He yelped earlier, so. Oh boy. Who's winning? Who's winning? Who's winning? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, you're so tough. Chevy. Get him, Chevy. Get him, Chevy. Get him.